you wanted to see my collection. So we're going to start upstairs. Handmade by Bone. Hopefully you can see all the layers. I believe he even made the Micarta himself. This one stays up here. Keeps me company here. This one was made by a guy named Whitler. I've actually shot this, even though it looks crazy. But if you look, it's satin finish here and glossy finish here, like the slingshot is coming up out of the ground. Made for me by Alvin. Handmade, guava core, variety of things on top. Gyno shot by um, oh, name slips my mind. Diablo Slinger. I told him to do something he'd never done before. It's got a clear acrylic core. And he actually made, he didn't buy this as a cutting board. He actually physically made it. My wife and son are making a cake in the background, a custom flipping out with a lucky penny inside. Now I'm going to pause it because that's everything upstairs. Hey guys, downstairs now, away from the music. Now let's look at, I've laid out my collection as requested and let's see what it looks like. Okay, I'll just pan it for now. These are, a lot of this end is the ones I've made. Uh, there's a box, we'll get into that in detail. Here's the box I normally carry with me that's actually got my shooters I use regularly. We're going to take a walk back here through the shop. It's a bit messy, I apologize. But I want you to see everything I've got in the works right now. Okay. Yes. I have a half inch aluminum core for flat cats. I got the fire ant there to fix up a bit. I got a few other things. Got stuff halfway done. Some tubes from I believe it was Mr. Muzz. Um, something that Drew Bilberry and I are working on together. Two cores. Another through the fork model core that's a little taller. Anyway, just a whole bunch of stuff going on. And let me take you over here. This is my vacuum chamber. I've got a huge burl in there from Happy Hippie. Uh, Scott. Let's go back here. <laughs> Leftover remnants from a couple of bat conuses. And there's just, you know, you can see the shop, guys. Okay, my banding table storage table for stuff I just I gotta tidy it up a bit but we'll get there here's several projects I started I gave passed on the especially with this one passed on the idea to Matt and said I just don't have time I tried to make one of these still working on it with a piston head at one end and a rocker arm at the other you know, I still haven't figured out how to, what what I want to put there. But, as I always do, I get to a project that takes me a little too long. I put it to the side. You've seen my magnet that my dad made me. Catch boxes down there with the tripod. But anyway, let's get to the slingshots, okay? Um... Uh, let's go over here. Pick this one out. Very first thing I started making while I was making slingshots was the Moore Hammer. I really liked it. This one's a pretty good one. It's not completely finished. It needs stippling and then it needs a finish. But, you know, I might pass that on to somebody. I don't know. I layered my own teak in this one with my dad and I. It's a little dusty because I don't use it much. It's basically called Goliath. It's a monster Moorhammer. 
uh, I mean a monster ram bone okay I made a matching more hammer to it that my brother has you can see uh, it's not black locust black walnut um, conus a couple of test models I made uh, this HDPE wasn't very good you've seen this pair if you look through my videos I made a pair of these one for me one for my brother it's all layered this one has been seriously damaged once I fix it up but I won't be using it much to shoot again I believe iPfab gave me this fork halfway done this was yeah it was just a big pickle fork I made big joke kind of thing the main thing I did was I learned how to do a proper CA finish on that um, you start to recognize we're starting to move into some of the ones that are really special to me uh, this is by can opener himself um, oh name slips my mind he's out of Texas makes these I think it's Texas shooter but I'm not sure this is the first natural I ever made it just fit me right it's from I think it's called Madrona wood from up in Montana real heavy fork uh, very dense wood um, some of you may or may not know obviously you know I hold in the left hand this I just this was a good friend and I wanted one piece of his work he goes by Wild Bill he is only ever on the German forum with Jorg another one by Bone this is the more user one uh, this he he had Micarta that he made Bone does fantastic work I've used that one a fair amount this one's by a guy named Will once again on Jorg's German forum for those who don't know I hung out on Jorg's forum for a long time before I came to any of the other forums Kira Knight um, he got the core from somewhere and for those who don't know Will he fishes a lot and he lives out of a trailer because he moves where the work is and he does a lot of this stuff by hand so a um, couple of naturals um, I've gotten naturals from so many different people that I mean there was August West gave me some there was um, oh the name slipped my mind I'll, I'll, when I remember the name I'll come to it this is by Dara and D and Die or Durandi is how it's spelled. Um, this is his um, Thor hammer. Okay, got slots. Fantastic design for those who like uh, pistol grip. This is the lobster design by Setman. He made me that one. This is another one by the same builders, I believe, and that one and. Oh gosh, the name slips my mind right now. I apologize. I'll come back to the name. Those of you who know Joey, um, up in New York, this is actually a horse's hoof that he carved out. Okay, it's not. Well, I mean, the wood was a natural, and he made a horse's hoof out of it to make it like a slingshot. Really cool little thing. Um, I think this is Bugs Brew is the name. Uh, this is his specialty design. I admired that he sent it to me you know flip gun makes the wishbones this is a titana wishbone he made it big just for me okay awesome shooter I shoot that a fair amount too this is by a guy named Diab uh, Dolomite um, Frank um, he's on he was only ever on the on Jorg's German forum a little dusty because it stays out where I shoot it pretty regularly at times but um, it purple heart quarter inch and then he did something I'd never seen done myself before he basically put a veneer on the one side of the aluminum it's a bird's eye maple veneer but I'd never seen that done before so that was that was something exciting um, once again another natural and I cannot remember the name uh, the name will come to me all from the same this is one of Matt's original um, fugs okay uh, this is by a guy named who goes by Jeb uh, on the German forum he's very into uh, medieval kind of stuff okay nice little uh, 
glass marble glued in he did all this lattice work and added the skull made it huge this is more for show than anything but i've actually shot it okay for those who don't understand this is six and a half inches across um jeremy tyler sent me the spud dude it's a potato peeler that's cleaned off and fixed up my son's got the other one he loves it uh this is from a gentleman i believe he's just right up in tennessee uh he doesn't show up on the forums much anymore he used to make the woven pouches, uh, name slipped my mind again, but beautiful little, beautiful little pickle, uh, great to feel. We'll get back to these in a minute. Brazil Viking on the German forum and several of the other forums made me this, fantastic shooter. I need to switch hands because I, I normally hold in the left so you guys can see. Um, this is by the new slingshot guy, Brandon up in new york one of the first he made what you're going to notice in a lot of my collection is i've got a lot of people's first slingshots they made or one of the first four or five these two are by drew bilbrey for those who don't know drew bilbrey is probably one of the finest natural makers i've ever come across this was my very first trade ever and he sent me this huge fort just absolutely fantastic and then a little while later i traded him for this one i mean drew has an amazing collection of natural forks he uses my second trade i traded both at the same time i can't remember which one came in first but the other one was that whittler one you saw upstairs jeremy tyler gave me both of these he made them he actually made them himself as I recall correctly, I believe this is him as well. Uh, as you can see, I've got the, um, I've got Daryl um, D guys set up on this. I was giving that a whirl. Once again, the first first ones he'd made. I believe this is Onod sent me this one. Uh, once again, off the German forum. Um, a first. I cannot remember exactly who sent me this one, but it was a first. This is one of Setman's first. This is one of Zay's first. He's out of, um, oh, name slips my mind. But he's he's a young guy on several forums. He's a little absent right now because of school. Once again, another one of the first ones Setman made. These two, Daniel Jones. When he first came on the forums, he popped up. And I asked him what he did for a living. And he said he was a tattoo artist. And I said, well, why don't you tattoo a fork? So he tattooed both of these and then traded them to me. Once again, his first. I still got the original rubber he sent me on them. I shoot them here and there, but to me, I just enjoy looking at them and enjoy the artwork he put on them. You'll know that MJ, Mike McClure, sent me this. It's the, shall we say, the base of the, of the, um, x90d it's the original design these two were by a young a young guy on um, the german forum as well uh, his name slips my mind because he hasn't been on in a long time um, now this is what setman's first uh, some of setman's first work looked like this is what his more recent work looks like out of olive wood I enjoy stuff like this because I get to see where they started and where they've come from. Setman's become a fantastic builder. Alvin, another one from him, the A26, gives it away. I'm not exactly sure who made this. Looks a lot like a gamekeeper. I won this somehow. Can't remember how or why, but I did. Okay, we've already seen that one. Let's go back down here, okay? The cell gens, okay? hilarious thing is is i've got two mark selgin slingshots but i got neither one from him i got these in trades from other people who couldn't make them work for them and i gotta say they work fantastic for me the first time i ever got one of these i want to say flicks might have given it to me but i'm not sure you can see i used it as a pattern for many things that i tried out uh, some of them i just used this top pattern and then put the rest of a slingshot below it my my most recent acquisition from Toolman. Love this thing. 
Um, this, I'm not sure who made this, but Liz and Danny Strite sent it to me. I, I just love how rugged and rough, and then they've done all this interesting, like, woodwork on it, and then it's canvas macarta, I mean, it's like burlap macarta, things just unreal. I love to look at it and understand how the guy made it. Always got to have an A-plus in your collection. This one's made by Old Miser, I believe. A real fun one out of something fun out of the kitchen. Once again, Matt Naiman, you'll shoot your eye out. A skateboard shooter, okay? Sits, sits nice, pulls over nice. Still got the original uh, sand, sand stuff on it. This was just something I toyed with once. You can see it's a, it's just a descender, and I decided not to cut it out. Just shoot it over the, as I call it, over the board. Got two scouts. Pink one belongs to my daughter. A torque, a scorpion. This one's now. Here you go. Daniel Jones' original work. His more modern work. See. I got awesome stuff like that, guys. That's why I collect people's first. Young man needed a little money. I sent him some money. He gave me this. Okay. I won't say the name, but um, there are several people who have asked me about this and are very interested in this. You know where I'm at. Speak up. Uh, this is also from Jeb, the guy who gave me this they have little peelers over there he's the one who really started the potato i think one of the first to start the potato peeler craze but anyway it's a it's a nifty little thing great for shooting bb's um old miser sent me this one and i'm not exactly sure who made it uh it, he did mention that it's got one place where it's delaminating a bit and it needs some tlc from me which i'll get to this is um, this is the Mike Muley design, but as you can see, this is definitely by Matt Naiman. You'll shoot your eye out. Um, it's a little thing Brandon sent me. He took a clip, like a potato chip clip, took the spring out of it and glued it together. Shot BBs. This is the Dan Kong that Old Miser sent me. Um, do I really need to say anything, guys? Old Miser sent me this one. This is this is so old school and so valuable, it's not even funny. Yep, it's never leaving my collection. Flat Cat number 28. OTT. I cannot remember who sent me this one, but I really love the shape. There's one or two things that don't quite fit my hand about it, but I love these curves right here, and I'm going to use them and then adjust some of the stuff to fit my hand better. So that that one I really like for that reason. Got some wrenches with Ocularis plugs that shoot over the top. These two are both made by Wing Shooter. Okay, Todd Ransom traded me for them. Gray Wolf. Some of you may not. Okay. Oh, what name does he go by now? Something like Lord of Crows, I believe. Um, he, he makes these. This is a this is a hockey stick, an ice hockey stick, and he made this to shoot tennis balls for his dog. And yes, the the bands are way overkill. He also shoots huge river rocks. But anyway, I'm the only one that's ever convinced him to trade. So you won't find any of these anywhere. But in my collection and his, I did my job on a crutch shooter. You can see the video on that one. My Dick Riley Starship, which I've already explained in detail before. Pocket Shot, the guys gave it to me as a thank you. The, I call it the Ice Rambone. Got this sucker loaded up, Yorg style. Okay. This, um, it's a gamekeeper. I believe it's called the... Uh, like a bunny stopper or something like that. I'm not exactly sure of the name. Uh, I traded that one off in Darren Glenn Cook. I got some authentic um, true slings, the whirling kind, um, from a gentleman up in the New England area. Speaking of first, I got Ace's first set of um, 
velociraptors with the um, with the aiming system on them. Um, those are actually going out to somebody who actually begged me for them and bought them off of me because it, it, it'll be explained later in a video. I'll just say that they really belong to that individual because that individual kind of developed the sighting system or that family developed the sighting system and did a few other things. Got two wing shooters, neither one from him directly. This was from Darren Glenn Cook. This one was from um, jo uh, Joseph out over there in Utah. Um, both of these have now been purchased by a collector who wants some wing shooters. Um, I used them, I learned them, I studied them, I enjoyed them, but um, they weren't getting enough use for me to keep them around. Uh, let's go over here. Stuff I've built. Okay. A can opener design with Corian. A test model I tried. I had a black HDPE. You've seen the Metro one. It's his Titan core, but I turned it into a pistol grip. It's called Golden Eyes because I, I finished it up right about the time um, a James Bond movie came out. This is an over the top um, wave configuration thing. I got to make one or two changes. This one's already spoken for. Here's a more recent design that's come out by Pepper Mac that I gave a try and I was able to make it work. Um, this I was trying nylon material to see how it would finish. Somebody sent me it so I tried it. It's once again a can open a tiny turtle design. Not very impressed with the finishes I can get on the nylon. Chop Shop. Core sent to me by Carl uh, Pepper Mac. It's his design. I put voodoo resins on voodoo resin on it, cleaned it up, polished it up. It may be spoken for, I don't know. Here's one of my original style more hammers. That's got the stippling and everything. Hold it, shoot it. It's not quite tied correctly. Um, once again, Stepman sent me this really old olive fork that he said if anybody could save it, I could. Took me forever. I call this one Frankenstein. Because, I mean, I, I built on it for hours to get it up. Set it up as through the fork. There's several people have expressed interest in that. Nobody's ever bought it. You guys have seen the natural fork I cleaned up for Can Hater. Um, Zippro on the German forum sent me this. It's a two-part. He sent me the core and this. I did all the handle build and the polishing and the sanding. It was just, it was strictly a, a laser cut. It now sits, it's like a two to three finger pistol grip that dismantles. Okay, those of you who've been around long enough know this is my, you can see it, it's, it's basically made out of brass pipes and then you screw that in and you've got a handle. It's basically my Altoid shooter. I'll put that one away later. Um, this was the design I worked on for a while. This one's too thick. I might someday fix it up and thin it up there, but it's Corian. It's one of the first Corian mounts I did. I've also got this one. I'm not exactly sure who's responsible for this design, but I made it out of blue and blue HDPE. I put on the connection method with the Chicago screws that Matt developed. You'll shoot your eye out. This is the, the shooter I recently showed all you guys. Um, it's the X90D through the fork with clips on it. You guys have seen the Voodoo Resin SPS. Okay. Another design of mine, similar to this design. I, was, I did a few things on it. I wanted to test the shape made it out of a scrap piece of HDPE and I also did silicone plugs. Okay, a whole bunch of testing here. Here's a core. I put it in here because somebody wanted this core, half inch 
X90D, the through the fork model core. Here's the original one and that I made for you know studying MJ. I put the nylon on it, I cut the quarter inch core, I cut everything, including in here. It's not perfect, but it was a test model. I did since I like flats, I did a silicone. I never cut into it and put the tubes like I did later. Uh, this was the Axiom axe handle design that Nathan had. Really liked it. Uh, Purple Heart scales, oak center, double aluminum core. A natural. Uh, I can't remember if it's the Maxim or Axum, but it goes over the top. Okay, got my ergo design on it. Here's something. Bone sent me one of these to sand myself. I had to sand this hole bigger because my finger's bigger. Let me put it on my finger. Okay, I'm still working on it. I've only gotten to 120 grit. And I got one or two spots still in here I need to clean out. And then I'll go all the way down to 2000 grit. Just finished this one. It's a core from Mr. Muzz. We'll do a separate video on that one later. Um, you'll see a video released on this one shortly. It has Voodoo Resin on it. It's basically my stealth design. This is the one I've been, I was using yesterday in the videos that you saw. Now, let's go over here. My favorite, here let's start in the right order. My favorite natural that I ever made. I took a day hiker chalice and curved it in the wood. I mean, I cut it out of the wood curved. Loved it so much. I had tool shed cast it for me and then I sanded and polished and all that craziness. I use this a lot in tournaments. I've got the more customized bean flip. Um, I took, and you'll notice that the forks are way thinner at the top. I sanded them all down and pulled them all down. I also made these curves bigger. I added some bling. You can see that Superman logos in there. It's also got half inch glass marbles in it so it shows through. My wife bought me this and then asked me to clean it up. If you look, it almost has a curved shape to it now with the forks, the way they are. Love the way this thing shoots now. Um, a Dancon with silicone, silicone plugs. A Whippet with brown paper bag micarta core. Love the feel of this thing. I don't shoot it too much, but I do love it. I'm not exactly sure, but this this was sent to me and some guy you know, on the British Isles made it. I'm not sure of the name. Uh, Lewis told me the name and I forgot it again. Uh, I got this a long time ago. It had a crack in the in the fork that whoever had it didn't know how to fix so I fixed it up it's a beautiful slingshot one of the, one of the finer naturals I've gotten from people for those of you who don't know this is the pickle bone I believe is what it's called by bone cast resin <coughs> goes like that Sorry, Mr. Magpie made this one. He was a fantastic builder. Kind of disappeared from the scene. And then another tool man. A uh, little plinker cut down. Takes a little bit of talent to figure out how to tie the bands on on this one. Got purple voodoo resin. Hold on a second, guys. I need to pause. Okay, I'm back. Put that one away. Got this one. I call it the Parashot. Liz Strike made it for me. I've left these loose. Some people put super glue on them and make them rigid. I like them just like this. It stays here. I'm not the most accurate with it, but I do have a ton of fun with it. It's so unique and weird. Little Dan Kong, I forget what this is called, Tiny Butterfly or something like that. Um. I think that's it guys we'll end with this one 
and I'll just say hope you like the collection call if you got any questions about uh, say something if you got any questions about any of them some of them might even be for sale